Here's how you can make fully editable text with long shadow or in other words, extrusion. Okay, so let's select the type tool, type in whatever you want, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up, and I gotta go with the Noemi font. This is a free Behance font you can download. I gotta go with the semi bold, and from here we gotta go here to the appearance panel. If you don't have it, you can go to windows, and you can select the appearance, and let's go down here to this little box, which is the fill. Click on it to add a fill. And I'm gonna drag this fill under the characters. Now I'm gonna select the fill. Let's go to the effects. Let's go to distort and transform and select transform. Let's go to the move horizontal and vertical. I'm gonna click on the zero and add 0 0.1 and also add to the vertical 0 0.1. Now we're going to go to the copies and all you need to do is just increase them. I got to go somewhere around 280 and click OK. And this is how you have the shadow. You can also recolor the text if you want. But if you go to the fill and recolor it here, for example, it is going to recolor the extrusion or the shadow. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z. In order to recolor the text, you're going to need to double click on the text and select the letters. And this way you can go to the fill and recolor it. And that's how you recolor the text. And if you click on it, you can see the fill is black or dark gray. And you can change that up with some different color. Now, in order to make this a more realistic shadow, you're going to need to go here to the appearance, the opacity, click on it and decrease the opacity. For example, 30. And here it starts to look more like a shadow. And this is how you make a fully editable, non-destructive text shadow effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.